don't know exactly what's going on in this picture, but that's probably fine. Hi, I'm Joe, and as we get ready to close the book on the year 2020, I'll be finishing up one of those things that I have continued to mean to do all year long. This is a picture of some waves that a friend of mine made for an art swap. Uh, he doesn't do YouTube yet, as far as I know, um, but he said he didn't mind me doing my part of the swap for a video. And if he's good with it, I'll add his Instagram handle to the description. Now I had been planning to make a burning ship on the horizon, but as I pulled up the file and looked over this image again, I realized just how little space there was above the waves at the top of the picture. I considered maybe the moon, and then thought about, hey wait, what if that was kinda surreal, like with the moon overlapping the sea? From there, I decided to base the look very vaguely off of the look of Zima Blue, which is my friend who is in the art swap with me, it's his favorite episode of Love, Death, and Robots. I say vaguely based off that image because getting that style right I think is still a little bit beyond my abilities, but I can run with the general vibe. Now if you've never seen Love, Death, and Robots, I need to say that I can't give you an unqualified recommendation. It is definitely for mature audiences. It, it kind of feels like Netflix said, hey, you can curse more and show breasts, and that with that permission, they kind of attracted a group of creatives with some pent-up stuff they wanted to put on the screen. Also, I did read an article that argued that the adult content in the show kind of veered more towards, like, pulp magazine cover titillation as opposed to a more mature and egalitarian treatment of the subject matter. I'm not really an expert at that stuff, and I don't even know enough to gauge whether the person writing that article was an expert at that stuff, so your mileage with this show may vary, is the biggest takeaway, I guess. I wouldn't watch it with kids in the room. Kids, if... If you're adults now, don't watch it with parents in the room, that'd be awkward. If you decide, after hearing all of that, to watch it anyway, Beyond the Aquila Rift and Sunny's Edge were my favorites from a sci-fi concept perspective. The Secret War made me want to base a tabletop campaign in that world. It was super cool. I went into the watching experience already liking stories in the There Will Come Soft Rains genre, which that genre was one that three robots went into fantastically. Uh, when the Yogurt Took Over is hilarious, Helping Hand is excellent near-future hard sci-fi, Zima Blue is a visual treat, and Lucky 13 is hard to categorize, but very, very good. Also, I didn't finish watching the episode called The Witness, it was a deeply uncomfortable experience. Anyway, all of that said, here's my finishing touches on this drawing of some waves. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and that things aren't too stressful for you as you gear up for New Year's. Take care. Thank you for watching. Please share the video with a friend or several friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video. Later, y'all!